Hello boys, welcome back to another session of uh, an interesting video session for that matter. And uh, this is meant for class 11th biology students. This is for 11th class biology students. And this is for 27th January 2021. Whatever we have been doing it is for the, the theory class and uh, today after having done live uh, videos from our biology lab now for uh, the type of uh, question that is question number fourth in the practical syllabus we have come to this virtual specimens because uh, you are not there with us in the school hence uh, I am showing you the virtual specimens the reason is in practicals you have got uh, question number one is a mega experiment for five marks which you need to perform that is we have covered already question number two is a small experiment micro experiment that is for four marks this also we have covered and question number three is the section ts transfer section and that also we have already covered i have given you a demo of all the three and now today i am covering this fourth one which is having maximum marks that is identification of the different uh, species, uh, the different uh, uh, specimens that we have got in our lab. Plus, uh, whenever a slide is kept under a microscope, you need to peep in and uh, identify, write comments about it. So the aim of today's uh, uh, <clears throat> video session is to make you familiar with question number four so that you will get seven marks. This is the maximum one in the lab. So this gives you total 21 marks. And of course, already I have told you, question number five, you have to make a record. That is for five marks, your biology record. And then you have to submit a project when you come back to school to me, that's five marks. So these two already have told you, you can do it sitting at home. Maintain this biology record and think of one innovative project and submit that innovative project to me. Either you can submit it through virtually or in case you are coming to the school then you can submit to me so that gives you 30 marks so i hope i have made it clear this is how the marks are calculated for your 11th class biology practicals right now here we go what are all the various uh, <clears throat> specimens that you have to observe and write so here two things are important one is to study the different slides and identifying them with various characteristics. So either it can be slide or it can be specimen. Okay. So in the specimen session, we are going to deal with uh, amoeba, hydra, liver fluke, ascaris, leech, earthworm, prawn, silkworm, snail, starfish, shark, rohu, frog, lizard, pigeon, rabbit, all these are there for us. And what are the materials required for this? As we are having in our biology lab, the specimens of this. And sometimes we require even the slides. If it is the transfer sections, it will be slides. And uh, here we go. For every specimen, you need to first, what you have to do is first identify the specimen. The moment we keep in front of you, the specimen you have to identify that the given specimen is amoeba proteus or if it is a slide like amoeba's case we keep a slide so just to see under the microscope that is focused and identify first amoeba proteus and then once you identify that the given slide is amoeba then you have to classify it like this that is kingdom protista phylum protozoa class sacodyne order amoeboida, genus amoeba, species proteus. This is very, very important classification of the given specimen. Then you just write small discussion about it. Okay, I'm just making it enlarged so that you can see it. So discussion, it's a microscopic unicellular entity with a diameter of 0.2 to 0.5 millimeter appearing grayish in color, whatever color, whatever you are seeing there. The amoeba is usually found in ditches, ponds, lakes or rivers that contain adequate decomposed organic matter. When observed under a microscope, amoeba seems to be like a jelly that has an irregular shape containing little mass of 
Helen protoplasm. This protoplasm uh, can be classified into a notable inner endoplasm and outer ectoplasm. This should be ectoplasm, okay? Ecto, EC, ectoplasm. And what are the characteristic features when you observe under microscope that you can identify with the amoeba? Irregular shape, okay? And it is unicellular. Whole body is made up of one cell. And most important, you will virtually see exhibit pseudopodia. Pseudo means false. Podia means foot, false foot. The blunt and finger-like projections. This is important. Finger-like projections that are used for locomotion as well as phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. Cytosis is breaking. Phago, swallow, swallow at a, at a time. And they exhibit vacuoles, contractile vacuoles. You can see nucleus also under high power. So this is how you have to write. You can just leave out the discussion, but when you are writing in the examination, what I'm expecting is three things. One, identification, you write, identification. In the given slide, the animal that is given is amoeba proteus. Next, classification of the animal that you observed, write this. Then, what are the characteristics that you have observed? You write this, that's enough. And draw a diagram with the label. This much is enough. And then we move on to the second one, hydra. So here it is the specimen again. As we are having in our biology lab, you can have this uh, specimen. So first thing is, the moment you see right identification, the given specimen is hydra. Then you draw the diagram. In the diagram, see stinging cells, tentacles, mouth, uh, gastrodermis, gastrovascular cavity, epidermis, foot. I'm expecting at least uh, say tentacles, mouth, uh, then foot and the main body. Okay, that man. And uh, we call this as Nidaria phylum. So when you classify it, you are writing Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Nidaria. C is silent. Don't pronounce it as a Cnidaria. Nidaria. Okay. Class Hydrozoa. And order Hydrozoida. Genus Hydra. Species Vulgaris. Now, discussion is only for our understanding sake. As I said, after drawing diagram, you go directly to characteristic features. But I will quickly go through this discussion. There are solitary and freshwater forms that are found attached to rocks, stones and weeds. The body resembles a cylindrical and elongated tube wherein the posterior end is attached to substratum by a basal disc, basal disc and the anterior end is free. The body wall of hydra is made up of two celled layers referred to as diploblastic. The epidermis consists of nidocytes or stinging cells that serve as defensive as well as offensive purposes. Now, characteristic features, hydra possess a soft body and are diploblastic, double layer. The free end exhibits an inverted funnel-like structure known as hypostome, which is the mouth. The mouth is girdled with a circlet of around 5 to 10 long hollow structures known as tentacles. These tentacles help in capturing prey as these structures contain Nidoblasts, which assist in killing of the prey. That's why Nidaria. The gastrovascular cavity is present, which opens to mouth. So, if you can write this much, that's enough. Then we come to third one, liver fluke, fasciola. So, the moment specimen is given, now identify. First, the given specimen is liver fluke. Draw the diagram, while drawing diagram, draw most beautiful diagram. So mouth, suckers, head region, genital opening, ventral sucker, body, excretory pore. So you must draw the diagram. And once you draw, identification is over, diagram is drawn, now come to classification. So first one is identification, second one is a diagram, third one is classification. And fourth one is characteristic features. This is what you have to do. So in classification, kingdom animalia, phylum platyhelminthes, class trematoda, order echinostoma, genus 
fasciola species hepatica so discussion part usually found in internal organs such as bile ducts of goats sheep and cattle as it is a endoparasite it is sometimes also found in a few vertebrates but not in humans they are known to cause liver rot a disease of the liver it resembles a triangular shape that is flat and leaf like parasite approximately 25 mm long it possesses a ventral and oval sucker known as the acetabulum which adheres to the bile duct the body of the liver fluke is covered with cuticle with spinu spinules okay characteristic features it's a <clears throat> leaf like uh, body leaf like body resembling a triangular shape the body of the liver fluke is covered with cuticle and exhibits two suckers and not to forget you should write compulsorily that it is endoparasite so this are the things we go to the next one that is round worm round worm first the given specimen is round worm you write and write the biological name ascaris lumbricoides second draw the diagram see whether it is uh, whether male one is given to you or female one is given to you just identify how to identify length just by seeing the the height of this length of the animal you can identify it is a short then it is male if it is a long it's a female draw the diagram mouth excretory pore lateral lines cloacal aperture penile setae curve tail in case of female mouth excretory pore female genital aperture lateral line anus tail and now we go to the classification classification kingdom animalia phylum nemat helminthes class nematoda order ascaroidea genus ascaris species lumbricoides features so it is an endoparasite found in the intestine of man a dangerous fellow it's causing a risk for us it can cause weakness anemia laziness and adverse abdominal discomfort the body is long cylindrical and unsegmented with the pointed edges edges are pointed body is covered by a soft and thin cuticle that's marked with fine striations means lines body shows four longitudinal ridges throughout the body the anterior end of the body possesses a mouth on the ventral surface the excretory pore is located just little behind the mouth they are unisexual male and female exhibiting well defined sexual dimorphism so in the next session we will see another set of animals and just to be introductory and just making you familiar how to do this seven mark Uh, containing type fourth question question number fourth in the practicals uh, remember this fourth question contains maximum marks seven marks so don't neglect it and since uh, you are away from the school i am showing you in this fashion but once you come back to school you can see all this it's there all are there in our biology lab you can see but you need to write this classification you must know biological name of the animal you must know and then features also